Taxpayer dollars wasted? Not on his watch. Aiden Your Side's Mark Douglas is making sure your hard-earned money isn't going down the drain because you paid for it. The party is over at Port Tampa Bay, at least the one we told you about last year. That's when they threw an invitation-only party with your money. This year, though, Port Tampa Bay found a different way to deliver its State of the Port report. Aiden Your Side investigator Mark Douglas got some results on this after his investigation last year. Now, Keith, I really hated to be a party pooper on this one, but I couldn't help telling this story after finding out that port managers were spending public money on an invitation-only party for 300 of their closest friends. Now, this year, they found a better way to tell the public what's actually going on at Port Tampa Bay. Port Tampa Bay spared no expense at last year's luncheon for 300 of its closest friends. Our program will begin in just a few moments' time. Under dazzling lights and festoonery, they dined on succulent beef tenderloin and wild rice paysan with cranberries and walnuts. Port Director Paul Anderson even paid his pal, former White House staffer Andy Card, 10,000 bucks for a speech. It is a tremendous honor for me to introduce you to a great personal and family friend. And everyone finished off the feast with cream puffs and cannolis. Free for them, but not for you. How much did this luncheon cost taxpayers? Uh, I can't tell you an exact amount. This is an, uh, required by our uh, policies to do an annual report. It turned out the total taxpayer bill for this party cost $60,000. Taxpayers want to know what we're doing. Well, he was right about that. And this year, taxpayers have a much better shot at actually finding out. We heard you. Uh, we also heard your comments that we're, we're not reaching a wider community, the people in our community. So we took that to heart, and we said, let's, let's do something different. Alfonso tells me this year the port printed 180,000 State of the Port brochures and inserted most of them in the Tampa Bay Times and the Business Journal for roughly half the cost of last year's lunch party. We took that first step. I think that there, there should be more of that, more of letting our people know what their port is all about. Remember, it's their port. We're listening. We're listening to you. We're listening to the people. Would you say you're running a tighter ship? Oh, yes, absolutely. So how is the port doing this year? Well, far better than last year by most measures due to the rising tide of the economy that's lifting all ships. Now, if you want details, you can read this report for yourself on WFLA.com. No charge. Hmm. Absolutely free. Well, this is kind of a, <laughs> a big turnaround, though, compared yes, to what was going on last year. They actually sent a pretty scathing uh, letter they to sure you did. about your report. Well, there were a lot of bruised egos down at the yeah. port after our story, and we understand that. It's, it's hard news to take. But after some pressure from other public officials, they decided there's a better way, a more frugal way to spend money, and that's what they're doing now, and, and we wish them out with it. It's a good thing because now everybody gets to see what's going on, not just those 300. And we need our port to, to be successful. Absolutely. And it was a pretty good year last year. Oh, it was a great year. Great year. Thank you, Mark. Sure.